So I woke up this morning thinking about this. A little Alka-Seltzer and some film canisters. It's actually something I did in my son's fourth grade class last week. Imagine 25 kids dropping Alka-Seltzer into this, another one of these like this, and then just letting them go. Ready? Go! Bam! There's one. Yikes. Come on. Why can't they all go at one time? There's two. Oh, that was a cool one. See, what's stupid about that is that if you pop it in that direction, it just throws water everywhere. And this is why kids like this so much. So here I was in my son's fourth grade class and I'm showing him Newton's Law because they're gonna do this whole unit on rockets. We're doing for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And uh, while I'm trying to show them that, kids are wanting to find out what these are because they don't know what these little things are. And I'm calling them film canisters because that's what they're called. Little did I realize that if you're in fourth grade now, you've probably never seen your parent use 35 millimeter film. You have no idea that it's a film canister. This week, it's all about flying film canisters. I wanna show you some cool things to be able to do with them, uh, a way to be able to launch a bunch of them at one time, and what happens if you take it to an extreme level? Well, this is fun. What if you could do this with a trash can? So here's everything you need, just uh, some alga So You can find the generic stuff that's an effervescent tablet. You're gonna to need to have some film canisters and of course some water. The cool thing about this is that you get the reaction without using vinegar and baking soda. So your traditional vinegar and baking soda would work in here just fine, but this means that the Alka-Seltzer tablet reacts with water. Inside the Alka-Seltzer tablet is uh, sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, but they also put some powdered citric acid, and uh, those two combined dry are just fine. They have to be careful of these uh, as they're packaging them, making sure there's no moisture that gets in. You can always tell Alka-Seltzer that has been tampered with, um, uh, you know, and the moisture's gotten inside because the package will puff up, and many times they'll explode like those little, uh, you know, those packets that you hit and the little bombs and they get bigger and bigger and then they finally explode. So it's very, very simple. Of course, the water goes inside. What's kind of cool is to just vary the amount of water inside because you want to know what gives you the biggest bang. In this particular case, I mean, we can even divide the tablet into quarters. There's still enough pressure that's inside to be able to do this. And now we've got the reaction. I can either figure out how high the, the, pot, or the top pops off or watch this. I can actually take a, uh, a tube. So here's a little plastic tube. This can go inside and go upside down like this so when it pops ultimately the cap stays there the entire lid comes off and we get a nice little pop that looks this way if I do it the other way I think we took out a, a light uh, we do it this way then of course uh, then it just throws water everywhere so this kind of sits in See, that's really cool because it kind of shoots off and so it's more like a little rocket, which means this idea is fantastic as well. Look at this. Just different ways to be able to make it. Here's the film canister here, but you'll notice that there's an actual pill vial here and uh, I don't know, some little thing for the, uh, the cap and some fins here on the side. So now watch, this will go in. Perfect. Now the Alka-Seltzer goes in like this. Got it? Whole thing goes upside down. I'm just gonna put the lid on, shake the whole thing up. Now you wait for that bad boy to go. And actually see the bubbling inside. Newton was right for every action. There's an equal and opposite reaction. See, if that reaction is cool, then it means that the, the 10 of them at once would be fantastic. 50 of them would be amazing. This just means that we need more people, and I think I know where to go get more people. All right, so here's the idea. I just want to launch a bunch of them at one time, and, and I can't put them down fast enough. That's why I've just asked a few friends to stop doing their work making science gadgets and to come and help me with this. Fair enough? All right, so everybody around the table, grab the new uh, new little canisters. Everybody grab one, dump it off, put safety glasses on. You need safety glasses, and uh, we'll fill them up with water. Okay? We couldn't find enough of these film canisters, so we actually had them made. So these are film canisters, believe it or not, that are made just to do what we're talking about today. There you go, here's more. All right, half full, half full. Let's do, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 more. Dump those out. Yeah, some are, some are, and some are. Just half them, so you're gonna need half for each one. All right. On your marks, get set, drop them in, drop, 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 drop them all first. Cap them, cap them, oh, somebody's bad. Cap them, cap them. One upside down, go faster, go faster.
This is just a mess, all right? So, so I was looking for huge popping all over the place. This is what happens when uh, you can't launch them all at the same time. I have a friend, however, his name is Science Bob, and he claims to be able to do a bunch of film canisters all at one time, and there's a little trick he has with magnets. I think you'll like it. Take a look at this. With a little creativity, I found a way that we actually just need one person. A regular film canister with the water in it, and then into that goes this acrylic spacer. That will keep the tablet separated from the water. The tablet goes on top, and then the cap goes on, and then a magnet goes on here, which will put that onto the bottom of a board. And then all we got to do is flip the board over, and our chemicals will mix. Uh, but I don't think my classroom has quite enough vertical space for this one. I've snuck into the auditorium here to try this out. Underneath this board are 200 film canisters with the little spacer in them, the Alka-Seltzer, and the water. When I flip this over, they'll mix, and we should launch 200 of these film canisters more or less can all at once. You ready? Here we go. There they are. Flip them over. I better get out of the way here. All right. Well, see, there's a little one. That was it. Oh, there they go. Oh, now they go. That's good. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. That is good. That's crazy. Oh my God. See? Just one last one. All right. That was awesome. Where do you guys keep the brooms? Brooms? They over here? All right, as cool as Science Bob's idea is for launching all those film canisters at one time, I had a television producer here recently that wanted me to launch the can, but this is the can that he wanted me to launch. This is a trash can, and I don't care how much Alka-Seltzer you try to put in there, what kind of seal you can get across the top, I just couldn't get a good launch on something like this. So we headed out to the parking lot, and the other thing that we thought that we would use to launch it, since the Alka-Seltzer is nothing but compressed air, actually co compressed carbon dioxide, we thought, could we compress air in such a way that we could cause this to launch up into the air? We knew that most of the air is made of nitrogen, so why not launch it with nitrogen? It's not going to be bad for the environment. The only problem is you've got to change it from a gas to a liquid and allow it to expand. This is the part of the program I have to tell you, don't try this at home. We got this video footage because we videotape everything that we do uh, for television and send it to the producers and kind of get their approval. So what you're about to see was actually filmed in our parking lot and we just let the cameras roll and, well, take a look, here's what happened. Okay, ready? Let's try it out. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna take it over there. We're going to cap it, and then we're going to drop it in. Ready? Well, guess that wasn't really a very good idea. Just stick with the film canisters. Stay in school, learn to read. That's it. All right, it's a wrap, guys. Let's go. Well, if you enjoyed this week's episode, go ahead and click the subscribe button here. You'll be the first to know when a brand new episode appears each week. Uh, this button right here will show you some more cool science experiments that we do outside of this show. This button right here will take you to last week's episode just in case you missed it. And if you want to see the stuff that you shouldn't see, that's the uh, bloopers and the outtakes, well, just click this one right over here. And if you want to hear me stop talking through the magic of television, just click this button right here. Go ahead, click it, and I'll stop.